Yeah, well, let me share something we don't know. When I see things like this, you know, bunny wheel of children, Sensi and Asadenaki, and his family fighting hard to retain father's property. I hope you don't understand why I and I and the remaining trench town crew are top boat. All right? Because most of the wheelers music, as you know already, should I know, was stolen from them, which includes a lot of the trench town people music. Including music where me, Junior Brit, with voice Cherry and all of us, the pan. All right? And music, written lyrics, uh, I mean, by a whole heap of people that was just stolen and now under control of people like Universal Music Group, UMG, BMG, and the whole of them. All right? So, what we know from a longer time and from what we and I have been telling all the children and the families of my brethren and sisters to protect and look out for who is going to be stealing and publishing and selling on the mother's and father's legacy in reggae music, while Uno no get no no tight, all right. Bunny was a very private man. There's a lot of things Bunny shared with I and I, and the rest. I wasn't the only one, and a holy part of crucial trench town people, all right. And we know when we said the murderous music industry, there's a conglomerates of them set up, link up. Yeah, man, them link up and them just want to just rip and take away everything unjustly after the man them and the sisters them pass out. So that's why I and I, Rascardo, and the crew remaining, I tell all of my brethren and sisters, children, family, a signs, yeah, blood relatives, to look out for who I know I go and sell out and pirate, thief, steal on a father's and mother's legacy, all right? That is one thing. This doesn't surprise me when I see, I can see them. And if, boy, you know, go have a tough time, a police the internet. Because, you know, there are so many thieves and murderers, I mean, that want to sell the stuff for them, steal already, and have been keeping it quiet. And, and as for Bunny Youths and Bunny Family, you know, have to look out for those who write books, you know, and I tell lies about them, you know. Yeah, about our brethren and sisters, you know. There is one that Bunny never did want anybody to publish. Him start work on it. If you see anything that sound like old fire sticks and all them other stuff, Bunny was working on a lot of projects, which is still unfinished business. All right? Unfinished business. So Uno go off a look out. Look out. And when I see things like this, Bunny, Bunny Wayla passed away. His son, Asadenaki, wants to retain property. Bunny, check that out. Them can't even spell my name correctly because, you see, there is a rush for them to try to, to sell and thief what them has stolen from us, all right? And when Bunny passed away, there was a lot of unfinished business. So make sure you don't get ready for protect him legacy, all right? And I'm going to switch off of this for a while and, and mention a few things. 
Reggae Truth History. Junior Braithwaite and I and I, Raskar, the beer's full responsibility for the creation of Bob Marley and this group of wheelers. All right? It was I, Junior Braithwaite, and the man got the Dennis of Black Yehura Wheeling Souls that really were the first original Wailing Whalers of Trenchtown, all right? And we passed the torch to Bob, who then link up with Peter and Bunny and start for them group with the same name, all right? We passed the torch. As reggae foundational legends and pioneers, there is no other. Those who came after inherited from our initial works with Bob. This stands infallible and ineffable true. All of this what me are telling you is true. So I, Roscardo, and the crew will always remember them, all of us, because in Trenchtown we were together, tight, loving, caring, looking out for one another. All right? So let all the critics, the Judases, the vampires, the vultures, the thieves and the murderers who have done harm to our people, our messengers, and our reggae music and prophets, let them know this. Those who would love to forget about those of us who have done so much for this music from its birth in my backyard in Trenchtown and would aim, aim to deceive the world in our history, they will never, never succeed. All right? I want you to listen to what I share with you now. Listen to this now and listen good because these things may not have to tell nobody. All right, but me I share it. Come on, all the children of my youths, God to them youths. All right, the Dennis dynasty, yeah, culture, fame, youth, fame, family, Peter, fame, youth, fame, family. Yes, of course, Bunny, of course, Bob, children, them set up themselves already. Yes, what was stolen from them and all that, all right? Some of it, me know them can get back, but uno can look out for anything we are come up in the future. And there's a lot of work so the father and mother has laid down that uno must look out for and make sure, say, if them a tell lie, sue them. Yes, man, and get on the just rewards of who no inheritance that. But listen, listen to what I say now. Listen. Yeah, man, I want to know what you know. You know, you know. And be serious about what you know I do. Yeah, man, you know, you know better know and really look around. And check on our reggae music and prophets. Let them know this. And tell them that I, Roscardo, and the remaining crew foundational reggae people, send this message to all of them, to all Jamaica and the entire reggae world. Those who would love to forget about those of us who have done so much for this music from its birth in my backyard in Trenchtown, and would aim to deceive the world in our history, they will never succeed. No man them can succeed. Over the years I have made known in truth to the world those of us who should be sung, but are still remaining unsung, even to this day in 2022. Yeah. The music industry as we call it now, the murderous music industry, be it in Jamaica, the USA, UK, Canada, or anywhere it want to be in the world, do not dictate to us as Trenchtown historians 
when to reveal certain truths. We will do it in our own time. Reggae and the music of Rastafari do not lend itself to secularism. Remember what we are telling you now. When I can write this down, when I can record it, but make people know who to hear it and get it from. My copyrights are always attached. Reggae and the music of Rastafari, as I've said, do not lend itself to secularism. No government, public or private entity, has our true history and legacy. It is vested in I, we, the people, who have done so much to keep it together. The many attempts made by some to plunder, steal and kill have suffered catastrophic failures over the years. Trenchstone Reggae is now 60 years strong while some are still calling out for its demise. Yeah, and I want Bunny, Jabby children to remember, you know, Bunny left a massive amount of works, you know, works that was unfinished, all right, unfinished. And them are going to try to make money off of them, all right. He left a lot of unfinished work with a lot of people, unfinished. They are telling her, children, look out. Make sure say on a police, on a father's legacy, a full no inheritance that. All right? Yes. You know how much time some people call out say reggae dead, and reggae dead. And as them kill off some of the messengers, them think that would kill reggae. But them don't know say, that reggae is a spiritual music force. But anyway, my trench town reggae lives for the people. Without going into any details, I will say this. Junior Braithwaite and Ayadai Rascardo made it possible for there to have been a Bob Marley and his whalers with us in Trenchtown. And you know the music industry can't show you no copyrights for reggae. And the music industry as it stands can't, can't tell you nothing about Bob Marley's life living in Trenchtown with us because them don't know it and them don't have it. Them wasn't there. We have it. And we know it. I'm let me tell you, a whole heap of man them, including a man where say him a Bob Marley story and we live in Los Angeles. They used to steal things from I and I books, you know. Yeah, that I write and put out there. Take out things out of my book and put in a theme books. And I sell it. And him not tell people say I my books him get it out of. You see how, how bold them is for thief people stuff? And we use it and make money off of it as their own. On a father was writing and getting certain things ready, which him wasn't finished. But you see, him put it in a some people's hands that were just impostors, robbers, thieves, and murderers. Keep listening to what I say. We lived it. There was no Bob Marley and the Whalers group in Trench Town. We did not live a life of division or separation. We were one people even before Bob Marley came into Trench Town and me, Junior Braithwaite and the others, our family, our brothers and sisters surrounded and protected him. When Jabby wrote the Whalers trilogy, you know, Murder, robbery, conspiracy. After I must show the world and the people them say, how oh, the music for the music with Bob and Peter was stolen strategically, taken away by Blue Mountain Publishing Group 
and Chris Blackwell and them people there. Stolen. A whole heap of stuff them thief, you know. And them sell it to other people for millions of dollars. And how come? How come the pick the them on a family don't have by any music standards? Don't have some of them millions. I would Jabby's work was still not done, even at the time of his passing. All right? I may want to know if you know that and keep a watchful eye. Listen. All right? This was when he came in as a youth. Walk up West Road and come right by our Third Street corner. So these days and today, we hear people talking about, all right, now that Queen Elizabeth passed away and all that, Reggae Jamaica and the New Republic, they want to change up things now. After so long, and reggae music has been talking and singing about the enslave, enslavement of your people for years, for 60 plus years now. If we don't look at what I go on now, you know, we live in very perilous times, you know, with imminent threats. Yes, some serious things are going to happen and are come down the pipeline. The stakes are very high today now for Armageddon, a nuclear Armageddon. All right? I mean, I tell you now, if you look all around, you see the ruthlessness we are going. If the weather, hurricane destruction, earthquakes, whatever, is an indication of jazz wrath that is to come upon the earth. If that is an indication, then we know say holy pa serious things are going happen. We are going in a heat you now. Oh, gangs, them just a, 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 a ransack the country. Yeah, man, death and destruction is everywhere. Iran, Ukraine, Russia, if you don't look all over the place, United States. Yeah, man, you oh, no, no, see the same thing all over. Death and destruction is everywhere. Yeah, man. So, at some serious times we live in. We see where it's like we have an Akeldama, an unquenchable thirst for blood and death is everywhere. A retinue of feared assassins, murderous youths, them, a rampage all over Jamaica, all over Mexico, all over, all, all over Haiti, all over them. Check it out, even the woman them in Iran, a rebel. All earth systems have failed the people. All earth systems are collapsing. All right, keep listening to what I say. I do not meddle into politics. My reggae had given Jamaica a new identity and a dignity in the eyes of the world. So I Rascardo ask, what will becoming a republic do for the poor people in Jamaica? What will it now do for them? Let me tell you, I wrote up and published a book, which on page 265 of the book, yes, I wrote, Reggae had thus prevented Jamaica from plunging into a racially motivated, racially controlling, racially decadent society. The truth, even the most cynical, is compelled to admit is true. We chose Reggae and Rastafari to define who we were. Now we see where reggae music is what defines Jamaica. But yet still, you have people in the music industry, even in Jamaica, that don't want to give Trench Town and Rastaman them no credit for the music, for, for taking the music to the heights in which it has now reached globally. Them still don't want to give reference to Trench Town man them. All right? Even to this day, 
check Trenchtown out and you will see that it is not much better, as a matter of fact, worse than when we used to live there. Much worse. Yes. Reggae has given Jamaica a new international identity. And we in Trenchtown made this possible. Including, as you don't know and the world knows, Jabi, the works of Jabi and the other messengers and prophets. All right? Most of them gone now. But a whole heap of people still there. And we are going to speak the truth. So all you children, all you know what to do, I link up and listen, listen. Kajabi's work was never done. Bunny's work but was, is never done. Bob's work was never done. Peter's work was never done. All right? Holy Paman's work was never done. Now, who is there that want to deny that? Who is there that want to tell me that what I, Rascado, and the crew is talking about in this year, 2022, is not true? Who can come and tell us that we don't have the truth? We don't have the history. We don't have the detail, archival history. It has been a long time poor people have been waiting for Jamaica to move itself from under the oppressive slavery system of the British monarchy. How long has Rastaman and reggae music been talking about that? But for some in Jamaica, a slavery continues and they enjoy having it that way. Some in the halls of justice Still wear the wig seen by British lawyers and judges. Check that out. Even to this day. What a damn shame. For even the black man or woman as a Jamaican attorney at law. In a very hot climate. Continue to subject himself and herself to such stupid attire. Wearing the wigs and all that. However, some are wise enough not to be seen publicly as a British puppet. For a number of years, Reggae and the Rastaman had spoken about the subjugation under the colonial slave rules, and now it seems as if some have seen the light of truth to try and do something about it. Naming Jamaica as a republic, what does that mean? The word republic is a political one. It means form of government in which the people or their elected officials possess the supreme power. But which set of people in Jamaica would be given the ability to have the power to work against a system there that is still, in a sense, controlled by the slave masters, sons and daughters who still live there and still influence the runnings of Jamaica. And that is the main problem for Jamaica, you know. That's why we know how we put it in the music and ask the question continually. Jamaica was never independent. For what does being independent, what does that mean? And yet still, independent of who? Independent from who? Independent from what? No, man. It was never independent. You see? And how come? How come the majority of people, poor black people especially, suffer and continues to suffer in a system like that? Because you have the corrupt politicians, them. In the system, we still take orders from the slave masters or ex slave masters, however, they want to find themselves children and families who still control and influence what goes on in the island. All right, 
regardless of what them want to tell you now. And now you have gangs a rampage all over the island. A kill off innocent people. Yes, man. Same thing we happen in a Haiti, even as I speak. At the same thing all over the place. People are destroy their own people divisively. And look at the people when they are dead. It makes reggae and Rastafari as we used to sit down. We and Jabi and others sit down in the yard and a reason over. Yeah, man, we don't have to tell nobody. We don't have to tell nobody because we sit down and we reason. Thousands of reasoning sessions. Thousands. And Jabi, there's a lot of things the world still don't know. I wouldn't know if we don't share it with them. Jabi's work was not done. All right? And there are people out there just a watch and a time certain things for publish. But Jabi, what, what Jabi shared with them, hoping that they would do justice by him. But them I keep it and I save it. And the thing is, you know, if we don't look for certain things, you know, most of our enslavers and oppressors, look how long them live. Yeah, man, them live long. In them 80s, 90s, some even live to be 100 and even over 100. You see, them set a timetable for our demise. Yeah, man, and them wait after most of us pass out. For them sell it. Because them feel safe now. Them not go off now. Nobody fi can test them. And for sure the world say. And the things them what them teeth from us. Them a sell. And I make money a fight. And I get to feed them family. And feed them friends. And look oh my brethren them. Bob gone. Jabby gone. Peter gone, Junior Braithwaite gone, Cherry gone, Joe gone, Raya gone, D. Brown gone, look how much man them gone, Tata gone, all them man they, all them sister in they, who have done works, died in the poverty that they know so well. So Sensi, Asadenaki, God youths them, Jew youths, Raya youths, the whole owner, you know, make sure say, you know, know who to link up with, forget the proper information as to what things where we know as fact and truth. And you know, father and mother shared with us. All right. How come so much Rasta man them, elder them, I die in the poverty. How come? Where the money for reggae gone? Where it gone? You see, that's the thing. I know them have gangsters are, are, are roam the place and kill off innocent people. For what? You know, she said the system set. It's set for if we destroy one another. And when we destroy one another, what we do? We make it easier for the thieves, vampires, bloodsuckers and murderers them. For run where with our legacy. Bunny have a massive catalogue. So was Peter Touch. So was Gatti. So 